Okay, we're going to have a look at the Patagonia uh, backcountry guide pants. They're like a soft shell, soft, soft shell pant. Uh, really, really stretchy. Brilliant articulation and freedom of movement. Um, <clears throat> and I've used them for five years, and they've borne the brunt of. Uh, uh, a lot of winters, uh, a, a real kind of technical pant. I mean, I've kind of used them for low grade uh, technical um, climbing. I don't know what they'd be like, like uh, higher up the grades, uh, if you're really like swinging your legs all over the place and stuff like that. But for me, they've actually worked well. Uh, never had, uh, never felt clammy or anything in them. Uh, Totally windproof, water resistant as well, uh, not fully water resistant, they will take a, a, a bit of a beating, comes with your braces. Uh, two downsides with these pants is the braces are not brilliantly adjustable and the snow, internal snow gaiter uh, isn't quite as tight, but I've, I've always had problems with internal snow gaiters um, not being tight enough. But the good thing is about them, they have got two little loops, you just see there, you can actually fashion some kind of strap or something like that under your boot. It's got a fleece, a fleece around the waist, which obviously makes them very comfortable. They're a 32, they're a bit tight on me now because I've put on a little bit of a belly, button seems to pop quite a lot. Uh, yeah, 32 waist. Um, what were they? 120 pound, 120 pound in five years use, and still going like uh, really strong. And the excellent thing about them as well, they've got the side vents, brilliant side vents, quite decent as well, uh, decent length. You just it's kind of like perforated down there, but you can adjust the, the side vents how you want. It's got like a like a back pocket here. Which will take a phone or a compass, uh, articulated knees, uh, reinforced as well. For the amount of times that you're, you're kneeling on snow and rock and trying to navigate yourself uh, either up the mountain or, or off the mountain. Uh, has got belt loops, but also I don't need them because I put on a bit of belly, they, they fit perfectly for me. Back pocket, a spacious back pocket. You fit a phone, compass, GPS in there. Adjustable uh, zips at the bottom. Like so. And if you want to keep them like that, instead of having that flapping about, that's got a button, a button there. So maybe if you want a little bit of vetting or something like that. The snow gator doesn't go down very much. That's the length of the snow gator. Uh, or the internal gator. Yeah, uh, absolute bomb proof, totally bomb proof um, trousers. You get a good hand in the hand, the hand, uh, hand warmer pocket or the hand pocket. <coughs> One button fly and a zip. And you can, uh, it's a bit of a bit of a hassle taking the, the, the braces off, but you can do just take that velcro bit off there. Um, this is what I mean about them not being like totally fully adjustable because there is only one velcro bit, so this velcro uh, needs to always match up. But it is a bit of a hassle undoing all this, so I kind of leave them the way it is, as you would. So, yeah, uh, I'll just show you the it's a back pocket, obviously it's just a perforated stuff, but really, you, oh there's a lot of stretch on that, a lot of stretch, but absolute bomb proof, slightly, uh, you've got the reinforced inside ankle bits, there, uh, some crampon marks, that's not actually in there. Uh, you know what, but for £120, for money that I can afford, uh, for anything technical, it doesn't need to just be winter, I've worn them, um, I've worn them walking, just hill walking, uh, 
highly, highly wind resistant. Um, use them in autumn, use them in spring, uh, scrambling when there's still no when there's no snow. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'll definitely buy once they go eventually. Uh, I'll definitely be buying another pair then. So that's uh, Patagonia Buck Country Guide Pants, and I'll just uh, go and put them on and let you see what they look like on. So here they are on. One disappointing, two disappointing things um, is basically the braces. There's basically, yeah, there's only one. There's only one way to to adjust it. There's only one Velcro closure. Um, the little button. So everything's got to line up with that Velcro closure. Your hand pockets. Oh, other pocket. Your ventilation. Ventilation is brilliant on them. You can adjust where you want the ventilation, higher up, lower down, or all the way down, all the way closed. Articulation is brilliant for climbing, scrambling. Not necessarily just a full on winter trouser. Uh, I've worn them in uh, the autumn and the spring. Reinforced knees, reinforced bum. To show you that the bottom is your adjustable zips. Again, internal snow gaiters. Uh, there's not much to them. There's just basically like an inch. Uh, again, like all internal snow gaiters, they don't really work for me. Great idea and stuff, but at least on them you've got a little hooks uh, that you could actually fashion. Um, your own or some kind of attachment it actually keeps uh, the gear down but you can adjust the, the width at the bottom there's a button there so you can just tuck that in like that and leave it so or you can have it zip all the way down and there's another button for that variation is internal, uh, don't be alarmed by all the patches, that's actually um, just a fabric. I always get cramp on, cramp on um, catches on the inside my trousers, uh, and there's the, the reinforced parts there. That hole's not actually in the reinforced patch, it's just out, outside of it. About like one, two, three. So, yeah, the little, the little pierce with a cramp on, with a cramp on spike in them. Uh, no question. Bum's a bit faded, um, simply because of too many bum slides, basically. Uh, pocket wise here, this little pocket, kind of unnecessary. You can't fit anything in it. I'll not take a phone. Oh no, it does. I think I had a bigger case last time. Um, I'm going to put my phone in there. Uh, so yeah, take a phone, take a compass. Well, no, um, pretty much my uh, ideal um, climbing trousers. Uh, any any higher up, and they start piercing the crotch area. But there you go. Perfect winter trousers. Use them for walking, uh, climbing. Anything, and I don't necessarily have to be in the winter. Superb trousers.